This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Panda's M1235 Max Pro, Edward's Royal Class FW190, Takam's Brave Tiger, and a couple of Japanese bombers from Hasegawa. This episode of New Product Rundown brought to you by Hobby Zone USA, the source for all your workbench storage needs. Welcome to the New Product Rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's twice monthly review of the latest kits. I'm Elizabeth Nash. I'm Aaron Skinner. Let's get started with Panda Hobby's 135th scale M1235A1. Built by Navistar Defense and known also as the Max Pro Dash, it's a lighter, smaller version of the company's original MRAPs. For improved mobility, the original dash was fitted with the DXM independent suspension. The vehicle carries a crew of two and up to five soldiers. The one-piece body features recessed panel lines, raised attachment points, and separate doors. A curbside kit, the hood is molded closed but features great radiator louvers and headlights. The chassis detailed rails are braced by cross members and the underside of the engine including the sump, exhaust, and transmission. The suspension units comprise frames, lower wishbone units, axles, Differentials with axle brakes, springs, wheels, and rubber tires. Front and rear drive shafts connect the differentials to the transfer case. An exhaust pipe and large muffler finish the undercarriage. The mine-resistant V-shaped belly wraps the floor of the crew compartment and cab. The latter features a dashboard with molded details, firewall, seats, and controls. Behind are troop seats, equipment, shells, and frames. The large rear door with integrated stairs can be left movable to display the interior. The cab doors and roof hatch are separate. Distinctive slatted guards cover the cab windows. The clear parts also supply the ballistic glass windshield and side windows as well as lights. A second clear spruce supplies ballistic glass for the turret. The rooftop weapon station has armored wings and back, plate and hatch, gun shield, mirrors, and 50 caliber machine gun. Several antennas finish the roof. Photoetch Brass provides intake screens, shells and supports, jerry can racks, and antenna brackets. Decals and color diagrams give markings for two Max Pro Dash DXMs and overall desert sand, including stencils, placards, and dashboard dials. With plenty of detail and display options, Panda's Max Pro Dash should be at home in any modern armor collection. Edward released its new tool 148th scale FW190 a couple months ago. We looked at it in a November new product rundown. Yeah, now it's released the Royal Class Edition, marked as FW190A early versions. The large maroon and gold box contains two complete kits with two types of wings to account for aircraft with the outboard guns and without that armament. And three fuselages. One for the A2 and A3 with flush tail antenna mount. The other two are for the A4 with a tail antenna mast. The difference between them is the exhaust vents. Some are open, the other has louvers. All of the airframe parts feature fine recessed panel lines and rivets. The cockpit starts as a tub with the option of painting molded instrument panel in console detail, colored photo etch mounted on flat panels, or using decals. The rest of the cockpit comprises a seat with a photo etched harness and controls. The engine is a simple face with separate crankcase, but most of it is hidden by the close-fitting cowl and fan. All of the control surfaces are separate, and the landing gear has sharply molded legs and bays. The kit's plastic wheels have been replaced with brass and resin. Also in resin are the cowl panels with tropical sand filters for the Libya-based marking option, and optional inner landing gear doors. Only one of the two canopies in the kit is used, but open and closed options are provided. Pre-cut masks are also included. Extensive marking options are a highlight of Royal Class kits. This one includes 14 Luftwaffe fighters in France, Norway, North Africa, and the Soviet Union. The cartograph decals are sharply printed. Swastikas and stencils are also provided. The kit features two bonuses. First, a print of FW-190A4s attacking Bona Harbor, Algeria in January 1943. The other is a terrific fluted beer glass. There's a ton of great things in Edward's FW190 Royal Class Kit, not least ways, two fantastic kits. Nazdravi. Next from Takam, a 135th scale CM11 Brave Tiger. Also known as the M48H, the Taiwanese main battle tank is a hybrid design with an M60A3 hull, an M48A3 turret, and an M1 fire control system for the 105mm main gun. 450 are in service with the Taiwanese Army. The lower hull shows a subtle cast texture weld seams, and belly hatches. The running gear attachment points are molded on. Much of the upper hull is a single part with more casting texture on the glasses plate and engine deck. The toolbox lids feature nicely molded hinges and clasps. The outer road wheels come with separate tires with part of the rim molded on. The inner wheels are single parts. The drive sprocket teeth 
made with one part inner drums featuring lightning hulls and bolts. The return rollers and road wheel arms finish the suspension. Reminiscent of AFV Club tracks, the kit features nicely detailed vinyl runs that join with steel pins. Toolboxes and brackets detail the fenders, which have thin edges and detail underneath. The separate driver's hatch has detail inside, and the hinge mechanism is designed to leave it movable. Also separate, the engine hatches on the rear hull might be poseable, but there's no interior. The upper turret has cast texture and numbers, as well as molded tie-downs. The commander's hatch is movable, as is the cupola it fits into. The gunner's hatch appears to be poseable, but not movable. The single part gun incorporates the fume extractor, thermal sleeve, and recoil section of the mantlet dust cover. The only separate part is the one-piece muzzle. Tacom provides the mantlet cover in plastic with a front panel, side halves, and attachment ring. The 50 caliber and M240 machine guns for the turret are nicely molded, and the M48 cell bustle rack builds from several thin parts, like the same parts in the Dragon pattern. A photo etch fret supplies mesh for the rack. Clear plastic provides lights, vision blocks, and sighting optics. Painting diagrams supplied by Ammo by Mick Jimenez and decals give markings for four Taiwanese tanks. One overall green, the other in three color camo similar to NATO. Tacom has released a second CM11 with ERA. It covers an experiment to add protection to the tank. In the end, the extra weight tacks the suspension and it never entered service. A single sprue supplies ERA blocks for the hull and turret. And a small decal sheet covers one vehicle. This is an interesting variant of the widely used patent family and looks to be a fun build for those fans of modern armor. Finally, let's take a look at a couple of Hasegawa reissues of 172nd scale Japanese World War II aircraft. First, the Kagisho P1Y1 Ginga, known to the Allies as Francis. Initially released in 1995, the kit's main parts feature fine recessed panel lines and hatches. The fuselage is split in half and the control surfaces are molded in place. The three-place cockpit features a floor, seats, controls, radios, and guns. One-piece cowls wrap the engines. Optional door parts allow for the bomb bay to be posed closed or open. For the latter, a pair of bombs is provided, and there are underwing tanks as well. The clear sprue provides the canopy, nose class, and the pilot's armored backrest. Decals supply instruments for the cockpit and markings for two Japanese Navy aircraft. The other kit is also a twin-engine bomber used by the Japanese Navy, the Mitsubishi G3M Rico, known to the Allies as Nell. This kit is also 20 years old, but the parts hold up well with fine recessed panel lines. The detailed fuselage halves sandwich the two-man cockpit and upper and waist gun positions. Like the Francis, one-piece cowls surround the engines. The tires are molded with weighted spots. Clear parts include the cockpit with separate hatch, top turret, and blisters for the dorsal and waist positions. Decals provide markings for two Nels, one from December 1941, the other from April 1945, a tribute to the airframe's long service. Two nice kits if your thing is Japanese bombers. Look for reviews of the Max Pro Dash and Brave Tiger in upcoming issues of Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. And you can see more new products in the February issue on sale now. Before we go, we wanted to acknowledge the poster and mug that represent models for heroes. This UK nonprofit supplies kits, tools, and other modeling sundries to groups that treat veterans' mental health. The organization shows the benefits of modeling, such as the easing of symptoms of post-traumatic stress and providing occupational therapy. Yeah, to learn more, go to the website below. And a big thanks to Malcolm Childs for sending the items. And a really big thank you to Models for Heroes for the work you do supporting veterans. Thanks for visiting FindScale.com. And really, before we go, Aaron. We have something for you. I'm terrified. <laughs> uh, nice. So, like I said, thanks for visiting FindScale.com. Is there any beer left? No. <laughs> I'm Aaron Skinner. We'll see you next time. Bye. There's a ton of great things in. There's a ton of great things in Edward's. There's a ton of great things in Edward's Royal Class FW 198. Beer. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs>